okay, we're up early, about six ish. Um, we're heading from we're heading for 17 Mile Falls today. We're at Crystal Falls last night. Had the river crossing this morning, which was a bit um, interesting. Probably pays to practice that in the daylight, which we did yesterday. And um, in hindsight, too, we should have gone up to the 17 to the Crystal Falls lookout yesterday because obviously going past this morning in the dark wasn't ideal. Um, but it is beautiful walking this time of the morning. It'll, um, as the light kind of creeps over the, the tropical kind of savannah, can't see much that way yet, but anyway, well, we'll um, talk later, no doubt. We're heading, first of all, we're going to drop into the amphitheatre and check out the Aboriginal art. And I reckon 17 mile falls by about 10.30, 11 again. All right, catch you later. Not sure if this is working. Um, sun still hasn't come up, it's getting closer. We've got the full moon lighting it up a bit now. So it's not too bad. So our um, next objective today is a spot called the, um, I think it's called the Amphitheatre. It's like this lush grotto with some Aboriginal, Aboriginal art. And I suspect, well my gut feeling is those trees, that gully there, you climb down into this Amphitheatre down a ladder. I reckon those lush, that kind of lush vegetation there might be the Amphitheatre. As you can see, the sun's just touching the escarpment. So we're just um, back on the track. Sun's come up. We're walking through the savannah. And um, it's been quite a contrast, this walk to Litchfield. They seem to be managing Nipmaluk a lot better. Like Litchfield was basically up on the tabletop plateau was basically a barren wasteland of just burnt scrub so there was no of these middle sized bushes on over at Litchfield that all been wiped out there was only trees with a can of burnt canopy or some low grasses that were regrowing so what they've done here by the way is more of a patchwork type burn which is um, certainly a lot more pleasant to the eye and I would have thought ecologically it's a lot more it's a lot better for the environment, but yeah, what would I know? But yeah, it's, it's been another beautiful morning's walk. Once again, I reckon we'll be at camp by about 9.30, 10 o'clock for a day's worth of swimming. It's not super hot here at the moment. We're getting to, I reckon, around 30 degrees during the day. Nights are probably dropping down. They're quite nice, dropping down around, uh, I guess, 14 or 15. It's a pretty little valley. So we just passed a fairly fresh um, buffalo. Buffalo shit sitting in the middle of the track. It'd be pretty cool to see a buffalo. Well, cool, not cool though. They wrecked the place.
but it would add a bit of an excitement to the morning. <laughs> We're just dropping into a place called the amphitheater now. Coming down these ladders. Yeah, it's so peaceful. Nice peaceful spot this one. So that's um seven and a half holes. Okay, so we just um pulled up at camp and after about four hours walking, I don't know, it's about 10.30 when we got out. So this is 17 Mile Falls. This is our little campsite. Um, that's my tent back there. I was looking over Joe's tent. This is our little kitchen area. Got the washing hanging out to dry. This is our little pool from camp. There's another camp at the top of that sloping rock up there. It's possibly, well probably the designated campsite, but anyway. This one under the Cajarine is doing me. And this is the, uh, this is gonna be my designated little swimming spot today. Got the shade here, spread out on the rocks. Bit of a view happening. Punch pool down there. It's got my name all over it. Perfect. And if you go over that side over there, there's some still water, so it'd be a nice little bath. Yeah, it's um nice old uh, view from there. Tucker there. Maybe just let them wander through your shot rather than moving it. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I got them. Thank So we just spent the day at um, 17 Mile Falls.
Yeah, there's worse spots to spend a day, believe me. So it's around five, I guess. Um, it's almost time for bed. Once the sun goes down, I think I'll have another swim and then jump in when I'm nice and cool. It's been a very relaxing day. We got here 9, 9, 10, 30 this morning. Um, and we've just been swimming. There's only me and Joanne and, a, um, and one other person here at the moment. The, the commercial campers are counting the commercial spot up the river a little bit. So it's just been the three of us here all day. It's been good. It's been a magic, um, a magic little um, spot to swim just here. There's a like a, a plunge pool um, and then just up the other way there's a decent waterfall if you can hear me a decent waterfall with a um, a really deep plunge pool in it this is like this little far one is where I've spent most of my day as you can see I'm a bit weather beaten that's all good all right I'll catch we did about oh by the way about probably 12 k's today it's all pretty easy and Tomorrow's a big day though, we're going to go across the watershed over to the Edith River. So it'll be around a 15, 16k day, so um, needless to say by the time we get there we'll be looking for a swim. Alright, catch you soon. Just a couple more shots from 17 mile falls before I go to bed. <laughs> 